Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Nest.js. Today we are going to learn about the JWT authentication and we are going to do with the login process, right? So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we have the auth folder. Previously we have two folders, right? Users, where we are creating the users, then we have an auth folder, right? In the auth folder, we have authcontroller.js where we have the login functionality, right? So currently we are working on the login. So we have we have the login and here we are accepting the username, email and the user ID, right? Okay, so here we go with this one. So let's see this is and then we have the auth module also. So here you need to create this auth pipe, right? So here we have a user module passport, JWT register. Here we have to pass the secret and in options expired in 60 seconds. Okay. So here you can you can set any of the expiry date over here, right? So whether you want one year, whatever you can put it over here, right? Controllers that is auth controller services we are using auth services local strategy JWT strategy, right? And export the auth service where we have all the services, okay? Then we have a JWT auth card. So here you need to add like this, okay? JWT strategy or GS again we have to use the passport over here strategy and extend. JWT we are using so ignoring the ignore expiration false secret key here you can add and then validate the user ID and the username okay then local auth card then this add the local and local strategy here we have just auth service and here we are validating the user whether the username and the password is correct or the not on the behalf of it we are just using this one if I go to the this one you can see that I'm able to log in right if I go and just add the something wrong over here like two then what it will say is user not found not found right because the username and the username is wrong but also is correct but the user is not found right if I go and just again you can see that I, I, I'm able to receive the token of that one okay so this is how we are able to log in with the process so I will show you the DTO pass reset password so that should be the string name email and the password then we have a pipes i think there should be a different process of that one so leave that one so what is in the auth that is important auth controller okay so here we have a local guard local auth guard right so this is we are using the passport for that one okay login then we have a reset then we have a profile because everyone have the auth card before authentication we are unable to assess this pro whether it should be a profile whether it should be a reset password or something it requires right so here you can see the profile and the logout jwt token is required uh, else in the reset password it doesn't require so we will let you learn in the next video right so auth controller auth module auth service and auth service we have already taken you right the login process okay so here we have assessed we get the ss token this dot jwt or service you will also get the username id password you can get it from here the payload right you can also uh, log this one right whether it be a username email or the full user object because here you can see that in the console where it is we have the full information of that one so i can just use the underscore doc part user so here I can see what where is to be like a console uh, here. I can use user right comma with the user on un, user underscore doc user underscore user dot underscore doc right. Okay, save this and just restart this one. Okay, so let's check all the user information is there or not. Send. Here you can see that user object is also there so you can, whether you want to show somewhere else or somewhere uh, like account that this is the name this is a username so you can also do that this thing okay so any doubt any query in that just let me know in the comment section next video we are going to learn about the login is done register is done we will go with the profile okay update the profile edit the profile okay then we have a logout then we have a change password or reset password functionality Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, share and comment on my video. Have a nice day.